Blue Bricks by Property Lim Brothers is bringing you to this top floor, four room spacious unit at 1,001 square feet today. And I would say it's a move-in ready condition because it's so well renovated. And if you're curious to look at this unit, make sure you follow us on the home tour. Let's go. Welcome to our BB Home Tour and as with all our BB videos, make sure you stay till the end for 5 BB Reno ideas that you can do to this home. So let's start off with BB Facts. So the cluster that we are in today is called the Coralinas. We are made out of 12 blocks and we are one of the clusters that are nearest to the Pongo MRT. So all of these 12 blocks share the same remaining lease that is 86 years. And in our block itself, that is 302B, we share 60 units in the block and ours being on a high level, point block fashion. And what that means is that we only share the level with three other neighbours. So for our unit, our living room faces almost true south and our door faces almost true north. So now that we are done with the BB facts, let's start with the floor plan analysis. So for our unit that is a 4 room configuration, the size of 1001 square feet is considered one of the most generous size in terms of new housing these days. Because our layout is almost squarish in nature and what that means for you is that you can turn every inch of the space into a usable space. So for this 4 room layout, it comes with 3 bedrooms but what our owners have done with one of the common bedrooms is that they hack down the wall and make the living space into a bigger area. Enough of talking, let me just show you the interior of the house. So right, as we step through this house, this is the living space area and they have turned this shelving into a place where they store their shoes. As we walk through the living room, you will immediately notice how bright the space is and how wide it is because of the removal of one of the common bedrooms. So we have measured earlier and the distance between the TV wall and the other wall is at 6 meters long. So what that means for you is that if you are someone like our owners who love to host their friends and families over their house, this is a perfect space for you. Something that I love about this unit is also how the windows have made the entire space feel more bright. Over here, because we are outward facing, so we are not facing immediate neighbour in the neighbouring block, what we can see from the living room space is the opposite condo that is quite a distance away. You can ensure that your privacy is not intruded because of the distance. And over on the right side, you do get a pocket pool view. So technically, you are not paying for a premium but you still get to enjoy the pool view. So our owners have built this cabinetry that looks like a bay window for their guests to sit when they come over. So moving on to the other side of the living room, and because of the fact that they hacked down one of the common bedroom, so it makes the living room space really spacious. So they can place this three-seater sofa in the middle of the living room while just using the back space to whatever they need. So alternate to this space is you can build a platform for your guests to sit over, just put over some bin bags for people to chill and relax and say hi to Pebbles. Or you can just put your dog. So before I show you the rest of the house, we will just go through with you the BB location analysis. Pongo being one of my favourite districts in Singapore started its transformation almost two decades ago and it is still not close to being done as we see still revitalization plan across 11 districts of Pongo. Transformations including the Pongo Digital District which will progressively open from 2024 more BTOs sprouting out in the North Shore area as well as the Cross Island Line with Pongo extension that will be done by 2031. So the convenience that the Cross Island Line brings to the residents in Pongo is invaluable because the Pongo extension brings you to Pasir Ris with just three stops. Focusing on transformation within this area in Pongo Central where we are at, the field in between Pongo MRT and our block is currently being rezoned as commercial and residential. And in URA's words, in October 2021, it will be used as the space for office and retail. And what that means for you as a resident just living across from the action is that you get more choices for retail and exit audience. And it will also be more attractive to the future buyers when it's your time to exit. So even before the transformation happens, you already have a wide variety of amenities around this area with waterway point that is just 5 minutes walk away from where we are now. And for school, just to name a few within the one kilometer radius, we have Pongo View, Edgefield and Vela Primary School. Ok, 
Okay, let me show you the kitchen now. So when you step into the kitchen, you can immediately feel like a different vibe in here. So our owners have chose to do this cement scrape wall to eliminate the grout lines and for easy cleaning. And when you step in, you can immediately feel that it's very spacious here because our owners are light cookers and also they use this space occasionally for work as well. So I would say that the theme for this kitchen is rather like an industrial feel with all these black accents like the black tap, black cabinetries and the highlights to bring out the industrial feel of this space. So right behind is where your utility yard is at, where they currently fit a washing machine area and where they dry their clothes. So now that we're done with the kitchen and before I move on to the rest of the rooms, let me just go on the pricing analysis for this unit. For our unit that is on high floor and within 5 minutes walk to Pongo MRT, let's take a quick look and do a district comparison with listings that are also near the MRT on the high floor and with similar balance lease. Within a 5 minutes walk away from Sengkang MRT, a 4 room unit on 16 to 18 floor within Compassville Mass Cluster at Block 217B was sold for $738,000 in April of 2023. The average asking price for the listings available within the cluster itself as at the date of filming averages at $704,000 for an approximately 994 square feet unit. Looking through the same lens at resale transactions for unit opposite from Bangkok MRT, a forum unit on a 10 to 12 storey at Block 275A located within Espella Cluster was sold for $770,000 in April of 2023. Right next block at 275B on a slightly higher floor ranging from 13 to 15 storey, there was a unit that transacted for $762,000 in February of 2023. Currently on the market, the average asking price for a 4-room HDB within the cluster is at $742,000 for a 985-square-feet unit. Circling back to the Pongo region, let's finally look at the resale transactions for clusters near to the Pongo MRT. Specifically in Block 272A, a 4-room unit on the 13 to 15 storey transacted for $700,000 in May of 2023. Right across from our block at Block 306D, a 4-room unit on the same high floor range transacted at $718,000 in April of 2023. As of the time of filming, a listing on the market within Pongo Arcadia Cluster already has an asking price of $750,000 for low floor renovated unit. Another listing that is within the same cluster, specifically in Block 273B, that is right next to Pongo Bus Interchange, has an asking price of $700,000 for a higher level unit. Our unit at 1,001 square feet located on the top floor, point block to provide privacy, well renovated and has an asking price of 700,000 starting from we think that the entry price is very attractive and certainly worth considering if you're looking to purchase a unit within close proximity to MRT in Pongo so now that we're done with the pricing analysis let me just go on the financial analysis for this unit Now, assuming that you are a couple aged 35 with an average income of $5,000 each, both your combined monthly CPF OA contribution based on 23% contribution will come up to $2,300. If you are taking a HDB loan for 25 years at an interest rate of 2.6%, your monthly repayment would come up to be about $2,540.55. After subtracting the payable portion from your OA, this means that the cash outlay per month would just be about $240 and 25 cents. With this in mind and the fact that our unit is at the highest floor, outward facing and has five different primary schools within one kilometer radius and not forgetting the fact that it is a stone throw away from Pongo MRT offering unparalleled convenience, we think that our unit is definitely a star buy that you can consider making it your next home. For the last part of the video, let me just show you the bedrooms. So for this space, our owner have turned it into an exercise corner and also a guest bed for anyone that wants to come over and rest. So right as we step out of this common bedroom, we are entering into the common bathroom which has a similar industrial theme as the kitchen with the black accent along this glass sliding door as well as the tap, shower holder, shower accessories with the wooden tiles that I am standing right on. 
Now moving on to the master bedroom, our owners have placed their wardrobe on this side of the wall. So it gives a really huge capacity to store all their clothes items. And the bathroom is at this corner where they have installed this glass lighting door and turned this wall right here into a glass feature so that it creates the more spacious feel when you step through the master bedroom. So because our owners really want to make sure that this area is meant for rest, so they have done up this cabinetry that serves as a bay window of sorts where they can sit here, read a book and chill. And on this side, they currently have a king size bed frame with a queen size mattress stacked on top of it. And as you can see, even with a king size bed frame, it still has plenty of space for you to walk about or even put up a bedside table if you choose to. And one of the ways that they have kept the clutter away from the surface area is because of these cabinetries that they have installed. And this is how the glass feature looks from outside the bathroom. It kind of reminds me like a hotel style, which is nice. Now for the 5 BB Reno ideas that I will be showing you. So for the first BB Reno idea, we're going to turn this common bedroom into a normal bedroom where you have a queen size bed and then over here, you can make use of the natural lighting and put a study corner right here. Also, on this corner, you can place a wardrobe cabinetry to store your clothing. So for BB Reno idea number two, we are going to reinstate this part of the living room area back into a bedroom. So for idea number three, we are going to turn this space into a dining corner where you can place a six to eight seater dining table in this corner. So for idea number four is that we can turn this into a cozier corner where we can have a TV feature wall with cabinetries around the TV to create more storage space and perhaps also an L-shaped seater sofa right here for you to lounge at while you watch your TV. So for the last BB Reno idea, we can shift the refrigerator inside the kitchen and enclose this kitchen with a door for you to keep the fumes in during your heavy cooking. For enjoying this home tour with the BB team and if you would like to see the unit in person make sure you give our listing managers a call the numbers are right here below and if you would like to see more of our content on social media make sure you like and subscribe to all our platforms we are on Facebook Instagram TikTok as well as YouTube my name is Tiffany Blue Bricks by Property Lim Brothers always happy to show you the place this is okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs>